XB-70 Valkyrie The North American Aviation XB-70 Valkyrie was the prototype version of the planned B-70 nuclear-armed. Deep Penetration Supersonic Strategic Bomber for the United States Air Force Strategic Air Command. Top speed, 2,056 miles per hour. Length, 186. Number built, 2. Range, 4,287 miles. Cruise speed, 1,988 miles per hour. Wingspan, 105 First flight, September 21st, 1964. Retired, February 4th, 1969. Status, retired. National origin, United States. Unit cost, 750 million, 750 million US dollars. Engine types, turbojet, General Electric YJ93. Manufacturer, North American Aviation. Primary users, United States Air Force NASA. Role, Strategic Bomber Supersonic Research Aircraft. General Characteristics. Crew, 2. Length, 185 feet 0 inches. Wingspan, 105 feet 0 inches. Height, 30 feet 0 inches. Wing area, 6,297 square feet. Airfoil, hexagonal, 0 0.30 hex modified root, 0 0.70 hex modified tip. Empty weight, 253,600 pounds. Gross weight, 534,700 pounds. Max takeoff weight, 542,000 pounds. Fuel capacity, 300,000 pounds, 46,745 U.S. gal. Power plant, 6 General Electric YJ-93 afterburning turbojet, 19,900 LBF thrust each dry, 28,000 LBF with afterburner. Performance. Maximum speed, 1,787 knots. Maximum speed, Mach 3.1. Cruise speed, 1,738 knots. Combat range, 3,725 NMI. Service ceiling, 77,350 feet. Lift to drag, about 6 at Mach 2. Wing loading, 84.93 pounds SQ feet. Thrust weight, 0 0.314. What is the fastest bomber ever built? 1. XB-70 Valkyrie How many XB-70 Valkyrie are there? In 1966, one prototype crashed after colliding with a smaller aircraft while flying in close formation. The remaining Valkyrie bomber is in the National Museum of the United States Air Force near Dayton, Ohio. Where is the remaining XB-70 Valkyrie? The only surviving XB-70 Valkyrie bomber was rolled out of its building at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force as the building underwent redesign. Why did the XB-70 fail? The Air Force's XB-70 Valkyrie bomber was the fastest bomber ever developed. The aircraft ran into development difficulties, powerful Soviet air defenses, and sky-high costs, eventually forcing its cancellation. Did the XB-70 ever reach Mach 3? The first XB-70A, on display here, flew in September 1964, and it achieved Mach 3 flight in October 1965. The second Valkyrie first flew in July 1965, but in June 1966, it was destroyed following an accidental mid-air collision. Does the XB-70 still exist? With its six engines, unique canards, variable geometry wingtips, and capacity to fly at Mach 3, the XB-70 was a sight to see. Today, only one remains in the world, and you can see it at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force in Dayton, Ohio. Who owns the Valkyrie? It brings Sony's collection of in-house studios to 17. Will XB-70 fly again? Fifty years after the Pentagon put it out to pasture, the only remaining Valkyrie looks like it can still fly. The National Museum of the U.S. Air Force recently towed the XB-70 Valkyrie bomber out of its hangar. 
The airplane is in such good condition that it looks like it could fly today.